Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to try and be still and quiet? To try and relax? Let go of your day and listen to a story? Heidi, Cherry and Vea were at their friend's house, Javi and Sonny's. Their house was different. They had an awesome house. They lived on the canal and it was so cool. Cherry was very impressed. OMG, you guys, you guys are so lucky. This is like the bestest, bestest house I've ever seen. And you live right there, right there next to your uncle and, and, and your cousins and everything. It's just awesome. And Granny, Granny's right here. She, she can take care of you whenever you need to. I would love it. I would really love to live on a canal and have all my family really, really close. I bet it's awesome. Javi and Sunny said yes, it was awesome. Javi was six, almost seven, and Sunny was four, almost five. Javi loved having Heidi, Cherry and Vea over to play because they always had a lot of fun with their dogs, Pippa and Bonnie, and Reggie, their cat. So everyone always played games together. But the thing was, Javi always got sad when everyone left especially when it come to bedtime because she really didn't like being alone at bedtime. And she was telling Vea all about this. Vea said, Hmm, me too. Me likes, me likes sleeping with Heidi and Cherry. Me likes to cuddle down and go to sleep. Me don't think I'd like to be alone. Cherry heard the conversation and said, Oh, you know what? I have this awesome idea. I know you guys like live on a canal, but did you know that if you make like a fairy house, you know, like out of all different things like twigs and, and branches and, and bobbins and buttons and anything that we can find that like fairies will be your bestest friends and they'll watch over you while you sleep. Did you know that? Sunny liked that idea very much. On one condition, though, Sunny said, I think that fairies also like to trampoline. So if we make a fairy house, we have to include a trampoline. Cherry said, Awesome idea, Sunny. That's like the bestest idea ever. Because who doesn't like trampoline, right? Javi was excited about this because she was awesome at crafts and building things and creating things and putting things together. So she scurried around and found a bunch of all sorts of random objects that she thought might be good to make a fairy house because fairies will come and visit you if you make a fairy house. But if you don't make a fairy house, they might go somewhere else where someone has made a fairy house. This is what Cherry said. So they had to make like the bestest fairy house ever. And then fairies would come and visit and then they would make friends with everyone. And then possibly one of them would be Javi's sleep fairy or something. This was the plan. Cherry had it all figured out. So they set to work. Javi and Sunny started to glue things together and use elastic bands and wind elastic bands around twigs. And Cherry said, it would be awesome if we could find something really soft for them to sleep on because that would be really nice, don't you think? But fairies are really, really small, so what could we use that would be really, really small but really, 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 really soft, like a big, soft, fluffy cloud that, that the fairies could sleep on? Sunny said, marshmallows. We could use marshmallows. We have marshmallows. Oh, yeah! Sunny, you have so many good ideas. Yeah, that would be great. Let's get, like, maybe three. What do you think, Javi? Javi said, um, how about we do five? And then we could have a fairy for me, a fairy for Sunny, and a fairy for Pippa and Bonnie and Reggie. And then when everyone's gone, when you guys have gone, 
we'll all have a sleep fairy. And, and we'll all be able to sleep alone. No problem, because we won't really be alone. Because we'll have a sleep fairy, said Harvey. Gosh, you're really, really smart too. Right, let's do it. Let's do it so that we have five marshmallow beds. And and try and find, like, five tiny, tiny, tiny little blankets, Vaya said. Mm, maybe the, maybe the uh, fairies would like a shower, because I like to shower. I always feel really nice and clean when I've had a shower. And when I shower and I put my pyjamas on afterwards, it always feels really, really nice, because my fur feels nice and clean and everything. How about that? Sunny said. What if we build the shower over the trampoline and then the fairies can bounce while they're in the shower? Wow! I want to live in this house. It's awesome. It's going to be the, like the bestest fairy house ever. It'd be like a penthouse. You know what a penthouse is? A penthouse is like the most poshest, funnest, like most expensivest place you can stay in an hotel. I, and it's going to be like that for the fairies. How, how can five fairies not want to live there? So they kept building and building and building until they got the most amazing fairy house put together. They found the perfect spot for it outside and then they all sat quietly and waited and waited and waited. Heidi said at one point, we can't wait too much longer. We have to go soon. Oh, shh, shh, said Cherry. Be quiet. They'll never come if you talk. We have to sit really, 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 really quietly and really, 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 really still. As if we're meditating. And don't move and don't blink and don't swallow and don't breathe. Well, we have to breathe. But don't, don't do anything. And they'll come, I promise, I promise. Another five minutes went by and the fairies didn't come. The moon was starting to come up in the sky and it was going to be bedtime really soon. Javi and Sunny said, you guys best go and we'll let you know the next time we play if the fairies ever came. Okay, okay, said Cherry. I get it. Vaya said, oh please, mm, yes me please do, please do, because me really excited to see if they like the shower. Because, my, because you know, that was my idea, right? And Sunny said, yes, especially over the trampoline, that was my idea, right? So the cats left. Sunny and Javi sat and waited some more. Until eventually... The granny bought a blanket over and some hot chocolate and they all settled down and just stared at the fairy house. It was a wonderful fairy house. It had fairy twinkle lights and everything. And they stared at it and stared at it and stared at it until eventually the kids fell asleep. Javi felt a tickle on her nose. Sonny felt a tickle on his ear. Tiny, tiny, the tiniest little tickles. As if they were being tiddled by the legs of a fly or the wings of a butterfly. But they felt it, both of them. And they both at the same time opened their eyes. And there, fluttering in front of their faces were the cutest little fairies. No bigger than your thumbnail, they were so small and perfect. And they were just hovering like hummingbirds. One of them said, We love our new home. It's perfect. We've already tried out the trampoline shower and it's the bestest shower ever. Whose idea was that? Sonny got super excited. That was my idea, he said. Well, it was a really good idea, Sonny. Javi said, 
Are you our fairies? Are you going to be our sleep fairies? Because I really don't like to sleep alone. Would it be okay if you come and see us every night? One fairy had a purple dress on and her purple wings were glittering in the moonlight. She had a tiny little upside down purple flower that looked like part of a bluebell or something. The cutest little nose. And she had big, big eyes. And the nicest, sweetest smile. And she said to Javi, Yes, I'm going to be with you every night. You might not see me every night. But you might see me in your dreams. Some nights I'll be there, but you might have to use your imagination. You can imagine that I'm sat right there on your pillow. And you can talk to me if you want and I'll hear you. And you can tell me stories about your day. You can tell me stories about your brother. You can talk to me about anything. I'll always hear you, even if you don't see me. But sometimes you will see me, I promise. Sometimes if you close your eyes and you really, really think about me in your mind, you'll be able to see my purple dress and my purple wings and my purple bluebell hat. And I'll be right there for you every night so you won't feel like you're alone. How does that sound? That sounded really good to Javi. Sonny asked his fairy if he could watch while she jumped on the trampoline. Three of them were jumping on the trampoline. They loved it. And there were five of them. One for Javi, one for Sunny, one for Pippa, one for Bonnie, and one for Reggie. Sleep fairies that joined their big family with their uncles and their cousins and their granny and everyone that they loved. Now, fairies were part of the family too. Javi closed her eyes and Sunny closed his eyes. They could feel the fairies right there. Sometimes they felt tiny little tickles on their noses or their ears. Sometimes if they listened really, really carefully, they could hear the fluttering of their wings. And if they really, really thought about it, they could see them right there on their pillow next to their head they could chat away about the days. This felt very, very nice to Javi. Very calming and relaxing. She felt safe knowing her sleep fairy was there all the time. She didn't feel like she would ever have any problems sleeping alone. Now that she knew she wasn't alone. It was a wonderful idea of Cherry's to make the fairy house. Javi and Sunny couldn't wait to tell the cats all about it the next time they saw them. But for now, it was time to just relax, be still and quiet, and get super, super sleepy and tired. To let their bodies get very, very comfortable and heavy. So, so relaxed. And just go to sleep. Ah, so nice to just fall.